This delightful little fella is a green sea turtle, and he's outside of the Noah Beaufort Lab in North Carolina. She likes to eat seagrass and algae, and it's these foods that give the turtle's fat a green hue. And in turn, it's the color of this fat, not the color of its shell, that gives it its name, the green sea turtle. These juvenile green sea turtles have a more varied diet, including invertebrates like jellyfish and sponges. Green sea turtles are considered keystone species, and that's due to the fact that they play a crucial role in maintaining the health of marine ecosystems. By grazing on seagrasses, they prevent these underwater plants from becoming overgrown and help promote nutrient cycling. This grazing maintains seagrass beds, which serve as vital habitats for numerous marine species, things like fish, crustaceans, and other invertebrates. Additionally, their nesting activities on beaches contribute to dune stabilization by providing nutrients that foster plant growth. The presence of green sea turtles supports the biodiversity and balance of both marine and coastal ecosystems. After hatching on sandy beaches, they embark on an incredible journey across the ocean, often traveling thousands of miles. Scientists believe they use Earth's magnetic field as a guide, along with visual cues and possibly even the smell of the ocean to find their way back to their birthplace to lay eggs. For a little more detail, let's consider a section from Ed Yong's awesome book, An Immense World. He wrote, Turtles have a compass, but their other magnetic sense proved to be even more impressive. It hinges on two properties of the geomagnetic field. The first is inclination, the angle at which the geomagnetic field lines meet Earth's surface. At the equator, these lines run parallel to the ground. At the magnetic poles, they are perpendicular. The second property is intensity, differences in the field strength. Both inclination and intensity vary around the globe, and most spots in the ocean have a unique combination of the two. Together they act like coordinates, much like latitude and longitude. They allow the geomagnetic field to act as an oceanic map, and turtles can read the map. What did it take for this green sea turtle to get here? Sea turtles have been around for over 100 million years, surviving the mass extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs. The journey of these green sea turtles started a few years ago in a nest on a sandy beach. Females can lay up to 100 eggs at a time. The sex of sea turtle hatchlings is determined by the temperature of the sand where the eggs are incubated. Warmer temperatures generally produce females, while cooler temperatures produce males. This is called temperature-dependent sex determination. Now the odds are stacked against these tiny hatchlings. Only about 1 in 10,000 hatchlings will make it to adulthood. From the moment they hatch, these little sea turtles face numerous challenges. They must make it from the nest to the ocean, a journey filled with dangers such as predators, like birds and crabs, and the presence of light made by humans. Even once they reach the water, they face threats from larger marine predators, human activities, and pollution. The shell of the green sea turtle is a marvel of natural engineering. It's made up of two parts, the top, the carapace, and the bottom, the plastron. The shell's coloration can vary from olive to brown with intricate patterns help camouflage the turtles from predators. Green sea turtles are air-breathing reptiles, and they need to come up to the surface to breathe. They can hold their breath for several hours when resting, but when they're active, they typically come up for air every few minutes. These incredible creatures have been around for over 100 million years, surviving mass extinctions and dramatic changes in Earth's climate. However, they're now facing new challenges due to human activities, such as habitat destruction, pollution, and climate change. I hope you've enjoyed learning about green sea turtles 
and their vital roles in our oceans. Remember, every small action we take to protect our ocean and our planet helps ensure that these ancient mariners continue to thrive for generations to come.